since it started more than 40 years ago when I first came to Shetland and I think that Shetlanders are very welcoming to outsiders. They've been incredibly generous to me. I'm someone from outside who comes and kills people in their backyards, but they're still very helpful. And obviously they tell me if I get things wrong, which I inevitably do, but they're quite um, forgiving as well. I think I'll always have a special place in my heart for Fair Isle because that's where I first went and obviously I know it the best. I spent two seasons working there and got to know people very well and got to know the landscape very well. So well, I wrote one book set there called Blue Lightning and that was such an easy book to write because I could feel the land under my feet while I was writing it and see it so clearly. There are all sorts of things that bring you back and obviously the place because it is so stunning. And I don't, I know very few people who've been here and not fallen for it. The places I love best in Shetland are the ones where you see land and then water and then more land and more water. I love that view, it's beautiful, it's one of my favourite views. People go out of the landscape where they live so they are welcoming because they used to people coming from outside from the Vikings and then people coming for fishing and for whaling and for oil and each influx of newcomers have brought something new to the islands I think and that's why it's such a, a great place to come because the islanders I think are open to new ideas and to newcomers it doesn't feel like a place that's a theme park that's set in the past it feels like a place where people are setting up new businesses and new enterprises and having new ideas. It's, it's having a love of tradition, but looking at new ways to explore those traditions. <laughs>